so much for being here. We're going to upload a new video today. Actually, we're going live, so I'm glad you're here to chat with me. We're going to do an unbagging. We're going to, I think we have just a few more things from Maria. This is one big bag left. No, there's another one. There's one more and then some loose jewelry. Now, Maria was a wonderful subscriber of mine, is a wonderful subscriber of mine, who reached out to me and told me that she was not interested in selling jewelry as she once thought she would be, and that she wanted to give me all of her inventory. Luckily, she did live here in Houston, so we met up, and it was a wonderful, wonderful transaction. <laughs> Definitely feeling overwhelmed and very lucky by it, so I'm glad you're here to come in and see what is in this bag. I found so many beautiful things, guys, I cannot even tell you, including James Avery, sterling silver, gold, actual gold, 10 karat gold bangle. It was just incredible. I can't thank you enough. It looks like Maria's here. She is laugh, love, polish. Thank you, Maria, so much for being here. I see Kimberly, I see Vanessa as well. But first, let me start by showing you something that was in my other bag that somehow slipped under the radar. And I looked at it in it right now, and I said, where did this come from? I didn't remember. So obviously it had fallen. I have a lot of cracks and crevices around here, guys. You just never know what's going to fall under here or there. So this beautiful, hefty cat was in my last $50 bag. And I thought for sure it said Disney back here, so I just kind of put it aside for a little bit. Then I said, no, this is awfully heavy. Well, I looked again, and it says Sterling. And I actually thought it said Disney, and I thought it was the Aristocats, and that is like my favorite, all-time favorite Disney movie. What's your all-time favorite Disney movie, guys? I, I just have to say that one. I will see that one, someone watching it or it playing somewhere, because I know it's not that often done, but anytime I'll sit down and watch it. I just have to watch it. It's so, so cool. And the Aristocats and the Siamese cats are my favorite ones. And, of course, the sister, the beautiful little white cat. But anyway, doesn't that look like the Siamese cats, kind of? And look at that incredible chain that was on it. I don't even know what kind of a... I don't even want to know what kind of a link that is. I thought it was a box chain, but it's a flat. It's And it's kind of like an S chain and kind of like a herringbone. I'm not sure, but it's super hefty. I love it. It is so cute, and it just says sterling. Cool. That was in the $50 jar. That was an incredible jar, wasn't it? All right, so now on with the unbagging. I'll show you my rings really quickly. I'm wearing some wraparound rings. This one has coral. It was found in a jar. This one has enamel. It was a gift from Makeup Zombie. I found this one on Posh, I believe. It's a Baroque pearl, 14 karat gold, accented with a little diamond there. I adore that ring. And then this is Imperial Topaz. And Imperial Topaz is an interesting little stone. It looks a little bit like smoky quartz, but it's got a much richer color. And this one is accented with 14 karat gold, and it is set in sterling. I really like that Chanel-esque Chanel kind of quilting design there. So those are the rings of the day. And let's pour out this jar before you guys um, get impatient. Be sure and hit that thumbs up as you walk in the door, guys. I do appreciate it. It really helps grow the channel. It gets it out to more people. So I appreciate it. But yeah, let me know your favorite Disney movie. That is mine, Aristocats. Ooh, I love red. Some people don't like red, and they are so wrong about red. This is so pretty. I love it. Guys, I am having an uh, auction today. If you're a member of my group, it's over on Facebook. It's a free group. If not, all the information is usually uploaded on every video in the description box. This is beautiful. It is all acrylic. It reminds me of cherries. It's the exact color of cherries. I wish I had a nail polish that color. All into the nail polish. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I love that. Okay, then... I'm digging from the bag and from the pile. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, this is an earring. Those little tassels that I like too. Hi, Winnie. Let me say hi to a couple of people real quick, guys. And if I miss your name, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get through the bag. Hi, Miss Carrie and Vanessa and Kimberly. I think I said hello to you guys. Stacy and, of course, Maria and Tracy and Joni is here, as well as Sue, Mary Swanson, and... I think I said hello to everybody else. Maria McLeod is here as well. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. All right. These are pretty too. I always like the, um, the memory coil. I prefer that one over the stretch any day of the week. They're so fun. 
That's a pretty black one. These are glass bugle beads. Beautiful, beautiful. Love that. Then we have a, a set here. Oh my goodness, we have an anklet too. It's not an exact match, but it's close. These are definitely vintage, kind of a shell, not quite a puka shell, but definitely the shell. And hi, Miss Barbara. And then this is a green one, green and white accents. These are so cool. Walk the beach, put this on, you'll get in the mood. Oh my gosh. You'll get in the mood to sit there and soak your feet in that salty water and maybe bury them in the sand as it's really soft and muddy. I love that. I love that feeling. Oh, those are pretty. Oh, those are nice. It's a single earring right now, but we shall see. And I, these are nice. These are clip-on vintage. Look at these. Sound like acrylic. Clip-ons, though. Interesting. Very lightweight, too. You have to be careful with the clip-ons. Now I'm more concerned. I've gotten used to wearing them, and I love them. But when they're super heavy, they can slip. They have to be really nice and tight right here. I don't see any maker mark, but those are cool. Very nice. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. And I think we had a matching necklace for that. Pretty close in color. But this one actually looks newer. And this one has a brand. Oh, my nails are horrible. This is actually newer. Yes, this is Claire's. So bright. Graduated. And then some um, kind of like seed bead spacers there. So that's cute. And heart shaped or yeah, kind of a heart shape. Yeah, so my auctions are at 5 p.m. Central every Saturday. And as I said, it is a private group, but it's free. You just need to request to join. And you need to uh, click yes for agreeing to the terms. Oh, this is nice. I love this color. Look at the antique looking color on those uh, findings. I like when they do that. Now this has some um, kind of sequins. That is such a pretty color, guys. It's orangey but rust. So it's not Halloween-ish. And that's probably 30 inches long. It's not a Halloween orange. It's a beautiful burnt orange. That is super. I love that. And that is glass beads as well. Those are glass beads as well. Hi, Miss Lynn. I hope you're doing well. Oh, I love this color. Wouldn't that be pretty with a faded denim shirt? Just like an old chambray shirt. Oh, I love that. That is darling. More yellow, so we had a set. We had a set going on. A little stretch. Matches the necklace and the earrings. Oh, this is pretty. This is interesting. This is vintage. Look at that barrel clasp. And these are faux pearls, but I am intrigued by these beads. Take a look at those beads. They almost look like a floral motif or like a very muted floral design or something. I hope you can see those. Wow. Look at that. Can you see that? They're glass. They're beautiful. At first I thought they might be like a little opalesque, opalite kind of look. But no, I think they're painted in some way. Those are darling. I love those. Guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up as you walk in the door. If you haven't yet subscribed, today's a good day to do it. Go over to the right of the screen. There's a red subscribe button. My subscriptions are always free. This is, this is glass. No, it's acrylic. They sure look like glass. They're so faceted and shiny. It's gotten a little big, though, on here. Maybe stretched out a bit much, so I'll put that in the bead lot. This one's pretty. I like these drawstring ones, especially when they're made as nice as this one. A little pave rhinestone setting there. Very nice. It's got a nice little rocker vibe to it. That is pretty. All right, then we have another coil. Again, this is more of Maria's marvelous gift to me. Her beautiful jewelry inventory. This one's a nice one. Looks vintage as well. And I still have a couple more bags left. I have one full bag 
and I a whole lot of loose jewelry that was in that beautiful tote bag where everything, 67 pounds, were included. Oh, I like this too. Look at this. Actually, my husband keeps telling me it was actually more than 67. It was closer. It was a little over 70, he said. He's the one that weighed it. Oh, I love this. Look at the little rosettes in between here. What a pretty pink too. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Let me see how it's popped in so I can say hello. Hey, Anita, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I love your new name and I love your picture. You look great in that reddish hair. That really suits you so nice. Miss Carrie, how are you? Thank you guys so much for being here. Leona's here. I think I said hello to Winnie, but if I didn't, how are you, Miss Winnie? Oh, this is pretty too. This is a rosary link. I always like the rosary links. Very pretty. And this is long enough to double up easily, especially when they have a um, clasp. That's easy to do. More shells, and these are vintage. Pretty. Barrel clasp on that. I am Anita. It starts at five. Five-ish. <laughs> I like to say five-ish. I'm still doing my laundry. I, I bought a new blouse and I wanted to wash it before I wore it. And I'm hoping it fits after I wash it. So you know me. I'll probably be late. But hang in there, guys. I'll be there. These are how light. They're a little worn out on the setting. But those beads are gorgeous. So that's going into a crafter lot. Look at these beads. These are glass. What a gorgeous color combo. This is like a really deep garnet red. And then these that are a little bit larger, more of a grape. Gorgeous. So, so nice. This is actually, oh, it does have a finding here. I was going to say it was an infinite link. But it has a finding. Let me take a look at that. I don't see that it says 925. It looks like it should. It's so well made. That's beautiful. Let me let you look at that. See those beautiful beads? How pretty are those? And that would look great. Doubled up. Easily. Doubled up. That is nice. Yes. Love that. Oh, look at this chunky thing. Oh, I like that. Very organic looking. All of these are acrylic. This looks, I don't know, kind of kind of 80s to me. Look how they actually embellished both sides of these beads. Oh my gosh. They I love when they do a great imitation <laughs> on the stones. That is so so nice. That would blend with your, I don't know, that would blend with your wood jewelry, with your gold, with your fancier gold. That is just so, so nice. I love it. Let me take off the pink one and put it over here with the bracelets. We have some more stretch. I love this one. This one has kind of a bar and dot or dot and dash, I guess they call it. And this is a gold tone that is pretty that's a nice stacker isn't it and then this one as well more of a muted blonde gold on that we do have some matching earrings with coral color oh, I love I was just talking to you guys about the coral and gold and how it's a total hallmark of the 70s motif and that um, jeweler that was doing an interview talked about about all his favorite jewelry the most favorite that he actually hunts for because it's so rare is the 70s 14 karat gold with coral this is not 14 karat gold or coral but boy is it a good imitation isn't it i love it yeah that was definitely a hallmark of 70s aesthetics all right oh look at this this is pretty too i love those earrings maria those are going to be mine I love those. This is cute. This reminds me of, um, who was that Laugh-In character? Remember her with the dice bracelet? And she played the operator. Boy, that's a long, it's dating me, isn't it? Lily Tomlin. Yeah, that's who she is. That's who that reminds Ooh, look at this. <laughs> Hi, Julie. 
Oh my gosh, look how cool this is. All this needs is a hook, a little uh, bale added. It is glass. Ah, what a fabulous heart. This is heavy. This is like, I guess maybe a carnival glass or something. It's got purples and greens. And then it is silver on this side. I would love to put that like on a rotating bale, articulating and rotating in some way, because that would be so fun to be, you know, for it to rotate from one side to another. Right? Anita loves her hearts for sure. Oh my gosh. You can see my ring lights in there, guys, but can you see how it gives off green and purple? That's amazing. I love it. Heavy, heavy, heavy. I'm going to get Robert to fix that. We're going to find some kind of a rotating, maybe from a lanyard or something, and fix that one up. That is darling. Here's another coil. This is a larger size. Oh, my goodness, Maria. This is such an incredible array of jewelry. This is a little on the larger side that is so pretty with grayish Tahitian colored pearls. These are all acrylic faceted beads in there but they are nice this is a really well executed piece they graduated the pearl the pearls the beads and everything they're so nice so so nice you have a lot of them and now you're doing what collecting other things with heart motifs anita that's fun these are matching they're pretty they really are pretty I like them. They have like a little swirl look to them. They look like caramel. Color of caramel. Am I getting hungry for sweets again? Probably. Okay. More clips. These are brown. These are not marked either. So they are definitely... I don't know. I don't want to say they're all vintage when they're clipped, guys, because they do still sell some clips. People do need their clips. They're, not, they're, they're rare and they're hard to find in sterling and things like that, but department stores still carry your clips. But these are likely vintage. Very cool. More. Oh, look at this coil. This one kind of matches this one over here. This is pretty. A little softer gold color on that one. It is a memory coil as well. Very nice. Very nice bracelet. Now we have a wood bracelet. This will go in my hippie lots. A big collection of what I call hippie lots and it's beach jewelry and beads of all sorts and that kind of thing. Oh, this is pretty. These are genuine stones of some sort. Could be some kind of jasper, what do you think? They're very heavy and cold, or maybe some kind of volcanic rock. They don't feel, these feel very smooth though. The black ones are very smooth, very nice. And this is the magnetic ones that we always get in the jars. These are fun to carry with you when you thrift because you can sift through that um, sterling pretty quickly if it doesn't pick it up. It's a good start to a sterling piece. Oh, I love this. Look at that. That's a nice piece. This is leather. Surprised there's no mark on it because it's genuine leather and it just hooks like that over here. That is cool. Pave design on that setting as well. Very nice. I know those and the uh, I don't find the Mardi Gras too much anymore like I used to but I do find the magnetic ones and the um, the big seashell her, the nuts from Hawaii I get those a lot too uh oh sorry about that we got them in blue too clip-ons this is a nice coil look at this this is genuine lapis these are genuine lapis chips. Nice. Oh, that is a nice look. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Maria, this is genuine lapis. Look at that. Can you guys see the pyrite in that? All of those gold specks and speckles and all that good stuff in that. That is genuine lapis. Beautiful. That's a nice look, too. I love it. 
I love that um, kind of grainy setting on that, finish on that. It's like Tufa or something. It's so cool. Okay, it's going on. Maybe I'll do lapis today. Maybe it'll be the lapis jewelry for later for my for my auction. We'll see. Oh, I love that one. That is pretty. Now we have pearls. And these are completely intact. They are knotted. They do feel heavy and like glass. They feel like good imitation pearls. So I will wash those up. Those are nice. Yes, that is so pretty. That is a really nice combination of all kinds of um, shades of lapis too. The deep, deep ones and the lighter blue. I love it. Here's some stretch pearl bracelets. Those are nice. Another memory coil on this one. Very pretty one too. This is, I think, imitation howlite. Very nice look to it, and it's got kind of a smoky quartz design, I mean color on those beads, so those are really pretty. I like those too. Hi, Miss Tammy, how are you? Paparazzi, packaged. This is a pretty look. Very nice. Very nice. I like the uh, stacks always. Ready to stack them. All these are going to go into my children's lot. That is so pretty for the 4th of July. Very cool. I've already sold a couple of those kids' lots and I'm filling up another jar. Look at this pretty bracelet. This is a stretch. It's got an angel fashioned out of beads. How cute. And all of these are acrylic except for the face. No, the purple. The deeper purple are glass and the other are acrylic. That's a cute bracelet. It's also a stretch. Very nice. And we have genuine pearls here in the blue. What a pretty bracelet. This looks like a larger size. Could be an eight or seven and a half. Very nice. Baroque pearls, freshwater pearls in a very pretty blue. It's definitely got Tahitian shade. Very nice color play on those. And I think those are just silver tone toggle findings there. Very pretty. Look at this one. These are pretty beads. We have some moon glow beads here. And some kind of artsy art glass, rather. Oh, I love the color combo on this, too. This is super summery. Hey, Moon Goddess. Treasures, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Are you having an auction sometime this week? I, there's so many auctions, I miss half of them. Somebody was talking about something they found in an auction. I was like, where, what, when? <laughs> Could not believe she found that. Oh, my goodness. But there's so many, yeah, you have to really keep track and you don't always get notifications speaking of notifications guys be sure and hit the bell over by the subscription button if you haven't done it already and if you're not getting notifications it's a good idea to unsubscribe and then subscribe because when youtube rolled out the notification thing a lot of people were already subscribed and they don't always get the notifications plus if you don't heed the the notice this is a really nice faux amber set of earrings and you don't, you know, go to the video as soon as you get the notification. They stop sending them as well. But, yeah, be sure and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Those are cute. They have little gold bead accents there, but they're a faux amber. Very nice earrings, though. I like those. Next week? Okay. Well, I hope that uh, I get the notification. Do you do them in the weekend? This is cute. This has actually got a a fastener there, a finding rather. That is so pretty. It almost reminds me of a deco design. You know how the deco designs are channel set often. This looks like a deco, a little nod to deco. I love it. 
very pretty seed beads and just, I think, like an imitation hematite there. Very nice. That's elegant. And that black jewelry is always so elegant. All right, we did get some matching earrings. These are interesting, and they have pink. They have like a rose gold setting. They're peachy tassels. And then the rhinestones are like a grapefruit color. Beautiful. Hey, Doug, how are you? Hope you're doing well. I got to go watch your storage unit video. I didn't get a chance to watch it earlier. Doug has a great channel too, guys. Be sure and subscribe. If you guys have channels, mention them in the chat if you'd like. So people can go check you out. We always love new, fresh videos. Thank you, babe. All right. Going in the hippie lot with these. This doesn't even stretch. I guess you just put it over your foot and you could have a really hippie looking anklet there. Oh, it does have a finding. There it is, a little barrel clasp. There it is. I didn't see it. Nice work on that. It's kind of hidden. All right. Then we have some wood beads here. And another stretch pearl. What a cool bead. Look at that. That is nice. All right. Hey, Dorothy. We still got half a bag. Let's move fast. <laughs> I got to get ready for my auction at five. But as usual, I'll probably be late. All right. Let's see what we have in a plastic bag here. It looks like a couple maybe crafter pieces are in here. No. Oh, these are cute. Look at these matching earrings. They're little peacock feathers literally painted on these earrings what a pretty color teal oh my gosh those are cute so these are all matching here's some vintage clip-ons don't see a name on those those are cute these are matched too these are thermoset very cool i love that blue color then we have enamel in the same beautiful blue and y'all hear the thunder and lightning, guys? These are marked. These are marked. Oh my gosh, where's my loop when I need it? Hold up, let me go get it. I gotta reach a little bit. Here it is, okay. These are marked Avon. Look how pretty, Avon makes such awesome jewelry. These look like coral. They look like angel, angel skin coral. The color is beautiful. They are acrylic. Very nice. Okay. I always want to pick from the bottom and then I get tingles. Look at these. Faux tortoise shell. How cool. Look at that. Stations of pave. Rhinestones throughout. Very nice and lightweight. The chain is heavy, but the, the tortoise shell is very nice and lightweight. And that's a long necklace. Very elegant. That is pretty. Yeah, that's a nice one. I like that. And real pearls here. Wow, look at these pearls. With a toggle clasp. And this looks like um could be silver tone toggle. But wow, look at those pearls. They're like, almost like bugle beads. They almost look like little cocoons, don't they? Are those not interesting? Those are very cool. Originally marked $4.99. Maria, wow, you had an eye, I'm telling you that much. You do have an eye for jewelry because you were picking some good stuff. Look at that. These are heavy, too. I have never seen a pearl like this. Never. That's a genuine pearl. All throughout. Pave is actually, I think it's French for paved. It's derived from a French word for paved, which means you cannot see the setting on these stones. It just looks like it's paved. 
So it's like a hidden setting. Look at that. That's cute. All hearts. These are all interwoven together. They're entwined. <laughs> That's pretty. They're little coils. Very good condition on that. That is pave. And here are some... Wow. This is a nice one. How does this buckle up? Okay, there we go. All right, a little deployment style. This is a faux leather, I believe. I don't know, it kind of looks like real leather. It's kind of um, bonded leather. So the top is leather, the bottom is not. Very cool piece, though. I like that rondelle there. Cute. That's a nice bracelet. Beautiful shells. Stretch in blue. I like it this way, too. Look at that. It's kind of matte on this side. Kind of frosted on this side. That's a beautiful bracelet. That's a nice beachy look, too. Here is kind of a jade look. It's just glass. Don't see the tail. Tail signs of jade, but that's a beautiful color. It looks like jade. And some more imitation hematite with faux pearls. That's a pretty look. I would have never thought of putting that together. That's really nice. Looks kind of industrial. That is cool. How is the stream, guys? Am I losing you guys? It looks like you're a little quiet. <laughs> I get worried when you are, you guys are quiet. Oh, wow. Look at these pearls. These are interesting. Look at that hook. And they are, I don't know, I guess five or six strands. Six strands of pearls. Good, good. Thank you, Carrie. Here's a pretty ring. It's just a copper base, I believe. Nice look, though. It looks a little Yerman-like, don't you think? Yeah, and the color of that stone looks like a Morganite. That's like my new favorite color, stone, and hunting for this Morganite. But it's quite expensive. Beautiful. I'll settle for this imitation for now. Oh, look at this. A little shell band. Ring also. And then we have some silver beads with another bead full of rhinestones there. This is a drawstring style. Right? It is. Morganite is, so, it's kind of, it's pretty rare. And I have been pricing them, even at auctions, like online auctions, not YouTube or, or um, Facebook, but other auction houses. And they're very expensive. I love these beaded bracelets. I think they look so pretty stacked together, whether they're imitation or not. I think they're so pretty. My daughter loves them too. She always comes in and picks her faves. And gives them to her friends as well. Oh, this is cute. Look at this. This is just acrylic as well. But it's kind of pretty. The color is so nice. And it's just kind of threaded there on the findings. That's a pretty look. I like that. More of these beaded style necklaces. Pretty colors, too. Kind of in that same vein as that first one we picked up in that burnt orange. This is long with stations there. All acrylic. Very pretty. That's a nice co uh, combination of design elements there. Morganite is, I would have to describe it as blush. It's kind of a peachy blush towards the towards the peach more than the pink. I like this little clamper here, guys. This is a beautiful purple. Look how sculptural it is. I love that. And it's not like a overwhelmingly purple in your face purple. It's just really nice. It's got a little wear on it there. I don't know if that's no, that's coming off. That's just from shelfware. That is very pretty. I like that a lot. 
You guys see that? It's an interesting design. It really is an interesting shape. All right. This is tagged and it's a barrel clasp and it is a 1928. There's the tag there. Pearls, pretty. Perfect, perfect size. I like this size of pearls. Length, rather. Very nice. These are in great condition. This is definitely the vintage variety with that barrel clasp there. 1928 makes excellent jewelry. They made it really well back in the day. 70s and 80s. This is pretty, too. It's a little bangle with rosettes, pearls, gold tone beads. Very nice. Then we have a stretch in acrylic and another pretty stretch. These were nice. All colors. We've gotten pink and red. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is a nice one. This is a memory coil. The, oh, thank you so much. I showed the rings in the beginning of the video. Look how gorgeous that is. Don't we love garnet colored stones? Oh, that's so pretty. Reminds me of earlier pieces. Deco pieces. The colors are just so elegant and pretty. I love that. Glass. Those were glass beads. Look at this. This is a, I was hoping this was a bracelet. Is this not cool or what? Is this a J. Crew? Looks like a J. Crew clasp, but I do not. Morganite, Kunzanite, amazing pink. Oh, I love when you guys leave information. Be sure and come back to the video and leave more information in your in the comment section because a lot of people don't know they can activate the, the live chat. Look how cool that is. I see a little wear, or I don't know if it's two-tone or what, but it doesn't bother me. Those are enameled, kind of caged beads with a floral motif. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. This is so pretty. This is like, this would be the statement piece you would wear with a very nice summer dress, simple dress, and then the statement jewelry. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's a beautiful bracelet. I love that. Maria, I hope you're still here. I can't believe all this beautiful jewelry. Maria, thank you so much. Ooh, this statement piece is nice. This one, the clear. Okay, this is Kendra. Kendra Scott. Maria, did you not see the... <laughs> I was like, this is really nice. Kendra Scott. And then I saw the logo. And this is amazing. This is an amazing statement necklace by Kendra Scott and it is glass or stones she does use semi-precious stones so these could be crystals or something <laughs> I'm not sure but they are all glass cold, cold stones or cold glass beautiful Kendra I'm gonna have to look this one up look at that beautiful chain too it's a rope twisted rope chain on that that is so pretty I love that. Yeah, that's a Kendra. There's the logos there, guys. Kendra Scott. This is what tipped me off, but then I saw the bar as well. Oh, my goodness. That's beautiful. And what a pretty summer color as well. Yes, that peach. I love peach in the, in the summertime. So pretty. Look at this one. This is um, Alex and Ani. I've never seen an Alex and Alex and Ani like this it has like bamboo shaped or designs on the beads that's pretty it's a little big on me though but these can be adjustable right it looks like it's silver tone over copper like most of them are that is really a pretty one very nice and then we have a beautiful this one's patent only I think is the thing on this one it says patented on the findings 
but I don't see any other mark on it. Hi, Miss Lois. This is pretty big jumbo pearls, great condition. This is very nice too, pretty. Okay, we did get a match on these earrings. These are all seed beads in there. Those are huge and beautiful. Very nice. And this looks like a vintage piece to me. It's got the um, kind of a wire hook clasp. It's another sign of an earlier piece. Usually, of course, not everything is Creed. But really nicely done. I would say 70s here. And all of these are acrylic, but they look like agates. They did a great job. And then that little accent crystal there, or the accent crystals are definitely crystal glass or glass. Pretty. I like that. And all rope chains on those. That is very nice. Love that one. Another stretch bracelet. And what is this? Another kid's bracelet. How cute is that? It's going in the kid's lot. You think it looked like a Monet? Interesting. It does from the rope chain, right? Oh, this one's pretty. This little bracelet here is glass. It's got a gold accent or a center design there. Very nice. These are nice and cold. And oh, look, Halloween. Jack o' lantern earring. This will go with that other red stretch that we pulled out right at the beginning. Look at this one. Love these. I love the, when they do this with the pearls. I think it really modernizes them and they just look so nice. And this one is just a silver tone as well. It's on a kind of a cobra chain there. Snake chain. Very nice. Excellent condition on this one, too. And, of course, you can always double that over as well. But I like this one. I would definitely layer these longer pieces, maybe with some contrasting black jewelry or more pearls, pearls and turquoise, turquoise beads, that is. Very cool. Very nice. Okay, we did find the match on the tassels. This is the color of morganite. I would say, <laughs> speaking of Morganite, it's kind of this color. It really is. Very nice earrings there. And this needs to go in a beadlot. It's kind of stretched out. And let me see. Got to undo this little one here. This is just some blue dangles kind of pear shaped and blue beautiful blue color though that is really a pretty royal blue and those are acrylic and this is a hair band how pretty is that now that's a pretty hair band i love that i might wear that that is so cute Lots of loose beads here, too, that we can put in our bead lot. And this is pretty. No maker on this. Now, this is the one that sometimes they have two lobster claws. And someone said, I think they can be, they're kind of like um, interchangeable jewelry or multi-purpose jewelry. But look how pretty those stations are. We have a little gold tone, a little silver tone. Very pretty geometrics there i like this that's very nice have i ever found a real yellow diamond no 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 boy that would be something wouldn't it no i found sapphires and diamonds and an edwardian brooch that i sold to a wonderful subscriber and friend yeah and that's one of the very first bingos that i got and I was like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe I found this. Yeah, it was beautiful. Beautiful bar pin with sapphires and diamonds. 
and they were such a beautiful color. We were trying to determine if it was tanzanite or sapphires, but tanzanite was not discovered till much later. So we honed it down to sapphires. Beautiful. This is pretty, again, the imitation hematite, but very nice. Isn't that pretty? Yellow diamonds are extremely rare. If you hear someone say yellow diamond, make sure to ask if it's not a yellowed diamond because a yellowed diamond is considered um, lower quality, to say the least, very lower quality, and that's not what you want. It's the difference between a yellow canary diamond and a yellowed diamond. This is a chaps. It's kind of a nice little southwestern look there with those beads. Very pretty. And I'm so happy we found the Halloween earrings because jack-o'-lanterns are super cool and I like the orange bead on those. Very nice. And that's the end of Maria's bag for today, but she's still got more in this bag for me. Thank you, Miss Maria. You are so generous, so kind. I cannot thank you enough. Thank you all who watched. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on your way out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so and I'll see you around five-ish over on Facebook. Be sure and join if you haven't yet. It's a free subscription. It's a free Facebook group. Everything I do is free here, so um, don't worry about any subscriptions or anything like that over there as well. All the information always in the description box. And I will talk to you very soon. I hope to bring you many more videos once I break for school. As you all know, I do teach school. And we will break on the 11th. And I have some wonderful series in store for you as well as the typical heart to heart in my collections videos that I want to get back to you with as soon as possible. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, guys. Stay dry because, boy, is it pouring over here. Bye.